There is no doubt anymore that BlackRock is diving deep into the crypto markets. Their spot Bitcoin ETF is filed and waiting approval. And just last week, they filed for an Ethereum spot ETF too. And then over the airwaves, their CEO, Larry Fink, is shouting praise for crypto assets. We are hearing from clients around the world about the need for crypto. I mean, when you think about I think some of this rally is way beyond the rumor. I think the, the rally today is about a flight to quality. But what other crypto assets could BlackRock be praising besides Bitcoin and Ethereum? We'll find out in about 10 minutes because it's time for Chico Crypto. Yeah, while everyone had their mind on Bitcoin and the BlackRock ETF, I knew the Ethereum one was coming. I said this November 1st. There is no doubt in my mind BlackRock is getting ready to file an Ethereum ETF application. And these ETFs will be passed after the Bitcoin ones. Well, on Thursday of last week, my prediction came true. BlackRock officially filed for their Ethereum spot ETF. So now everyone knows BlackRock is diving into Bitcoin and Ethereum. But what other crypto assets could BlackRock be eyeing? Well, to figure this out, we need to hear what the company thinks about the future of financial markets and assets. How do they see financial markets taking shape down the road? Well, CEO of BlackRock, Larry Fink, has stated this in a talk at the DealBook Summit. Let's listen in. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we could have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. He believes the tokenized securities, stocks, bonds, real estate, and more is the future of financial markets. And he explains this should all be done and secured with a distributed ledger. This talk by Larry was given almost a year ago in December of 2022. I can guarantee BlackRock and partners are developing technologies and infrastructure to allow the future of finance to flourish. But who are these partners? Well, let us dive down that rabbit hole and uncover exactly who BlackRock could be working with. Well, to do this, we need to understand who exactly BlackRock's current crypto partners are. And they only have one official partner, and this was revealed back in August of 2022. From the headline we can see, Coinbase was selected by BlackRock to provide Aladdin clients access to crypto trading and custody via Coinbase Prime. BlackRock is partnered with Coinbase for their clients to trade crypto through Coinbase's suite of trading tools and have those assets in custody by the crypto firm. And guess what? BlackRock is looking to own a significant chunk of Coinbase. Before the announcement of their partnership in March of 2022, Black BlackRock wasn't even a top holder in Coinbase with under 1% ownership. Well, looking at Coinbase's ownership today, BlackRock is now a top three owner and has a 4.28% ownership in the company. The partnership between the two and BlackRock taking major ownership in Coinbase screams to me that BlackRock is betting on Coinbase. BlackRock isn't going to try and build the crypto trading ecosystem themselves, but is going to partner with Coinbase for this. BlackRock's customers will be using Coinbase and maybe more. So since Larry Fink, the CEO, thinks the future of finance is tokenized securities, in my opinion, we should be looking at who Coinbase has partnered with for security tokenization, aka real-world assets, RWAs. 
So just a couple months ago, in September, Coinbase had an announcement that they and their close partner Circle and others launched a group called the Tokenized Asset Coalition. The other members include Ave, Centrifuge, Coinbase's Layer 2, Base, Critics, Goldfinch, and RWA.xyz. So what is this group's goal? Well, the press release says it. Together, these companies aim to bring the next trillion dollars of assets on chain through real world asset tokenization, education, and advocacy. So they plan to bring the next trillion dollars to the crypto ecosystem with real world assets, aka tokenized securities. Now, if you want a trillion dollars worth of securities on chain, you are going to have to partner with an entity that has trillions of dollars of securities under their management, aka BlackRock. So who in this group is working on this tokenized securities and is extremely close with Coinbase? Well, there's a couple that stand tall in this regard. Number one is Goldfinch. As we can see in early 2022, Goldfinch did an investment round. From the article, we can see who participated. The startup tells TechCrunch it has closed $25 million in funding from Andreessen Horowitz's crypto arm. Other backers include Coinbase Ventures. Yeah, Coinbase is invested in Goldfinch. And then from this article, we can see that Goldfinch was launched by two Coinbase veterans, Mike Saul and Blake West. And from their LinkedIn's, we can see Mike was head of product analytics for Coinbase, and then Blake was a senior back-end engineer. It's pretty obvious to me, Goldfinch is close with Coinbase, and likely could be the credit protocol arm of Coinbase, thus connecting them back to BlackRock. But why else do I think Goldfinch could be connected to BlackRock through Coinbase? Well, in 2022, Goldfinch put out this article, why RWAs on Goldfinch are insulated from on-chain DeFi volatility. And in the article, it says some very telling things. Goldfinch is able to do this by utilizing USDC, a stablecoin fully and transparently backed by real-world assets. Launched in 2018 by Century, a consortium led by Coinbase and Circle, USDC is a stablecoin pegged one-to-one -to, -one to USD and backed by cash and short-dated U.S. government obligations, aka the reserve assets. The reserve assets are managed by asset managers such as BlackRock. Goldfinch is solely using Coinbase's USDC. They aren't using any other stable coins. This makes it obvious they have a deep relationship with Coinbase, or else they would have gone into other stable coins. But the dollar backing of the USDC used in the protocol is managed by BlackRock. Connect the dots, read between those lines. This is what we do best. But could there be others from the token coalition that have connections to Coinbase or BlackRock? Well, yeah, there is. Everyone knows I'm a fan of Centrifuge. They are the OGs in the real world asset arena. Well, guess who has also invested in them? From this PR release, Centrifuge brings on key strategic partners with latest funding round. It says, Centrifuge, the first DeFi protocol to finance real-world assets on the blockchain, today announced a strategic funding round from prominent industry players, including Coinbase Ventures. And guess who is primarily using Coinbase's USDC, of which BlackRock custodies the dollars backing that USDC? Centrifuge is too, this article says. Additionally, Polkadot Parachain Centrifuge is making USDC the native currency for its liquidity pools. Now, if you didn't know, Ave, another member of the token coalition and Centrifuge are close partners. They first announced their partnership in 2021. Now, this is interesting because of some of that dot connecting. Just last month, it was announced that JP Morgan, using its Ethereum fork Onyx, tokenized BlackRock shares and executed an on-chain trade in partnership with BlackRock and banks. Why is this interesting? 
Well, Aave's code was also used by JP Morgan's Onyx to conduct trades. This was announced by Aave last year. RWAs are the future of finance, and entities like BlackRock know this, but they're behind on infrastructure development and deployment. In my opinion, they won't be building this themselves, but will be partnering with crypto entities. And Goldfinch, Centrifuge, and Aave are likely candidates from my research. Cheers, viewers. I'll see you next time. The most trustless name in